We are rocksteady. Hi, where is this? This is a team of Mars. Oh, Mars One. Bauhaus and Bell. I'm the MF of NVRDC. We thought about five individual villages with their own special characteristics and their own themes. That will make uh, more efficient, the sustainable and low carbon practices. We're not starting off with a view of what the city should be, but we're starting off with trying to set a context in which it can grow. We mustn't have the illusion that we can design the whole thing. Uh, and I think we shouldn't even want to necessarily, we should create something that can evolve. The oceans are in fact public space and the continents represent community. We uh, wanted to build a, a park first and then build a city inside that. This wall is a sort of new fringe between the landscape and, and the city. Then you also have the tide. Uh, those are floating cities we uh, attach to the outer barrier. The grid is uh, basically a grid of dikes. It creates uh, the conditions for new ways of farming. Doing minimum to make the three um, dimension from ecology to economy to a society into one thing. We get three different types of, of cells. We can create a self sustaining module. With these wind corridors, we can place a uh, wind turbines. It's very exciting to be working on something that's uh, generic and, and full of architecture rather than just planning. We are developing this uh, wall or boundary to tie all the uh, city functions together. The residential itself is sandwiched uh, between the sports and the uh, knowledge gaining. Our understanding for this exercise is to think about uh, something that uh, while we have um, lost our innocence in terms of urban development, development uh, while we're doing the real job, uh, but we still need to keep some ideal. For this case, we want to build a, a well-developed city and have potential for future button-up development. Urban blocks in turn could grow together to form a very efficient city. As these larger structures start to form this sort of organic pattern of perfect square puzzle pieces, we see um, a real CBD emerging. We take these puzzle pieces and extrude them, but not just straight up, but actually creating many, many different terraces. A green city would actually would start to mean empty cities. The solar breakthrough, which would blow the entire green bubble market and low carb emission market. We actually propose to, to, uh, to split the city in two, uh, in two different territories. On one hand, a very high-tech sustainable city. The other part of the city is a very low-tech area. It's basically a series of mountains and there's a void which is a natural park in the city center. But I think uh, the more important for Chinese city is how to combine the density and the natural, how to combine the sustainable life with a metropolitan uh, lifestyle. Uh, Maybe in the future, I mean, energy is not an issue of su su sustainable. Cultural sustainable is a priority for a new city. And we dedicated then all our effort to fill the mountains. And we made a mountain that's actually deepening it. That the city could think about extra program to fill the rest of the mountains. That would feed not only itself, but as well say this whole uh, meta city. We found out that actually to be sustainable we didn't need to add necessarily something. But we could use uh, the existing uh, structure because it was so big and beautiful.